Dawson's risky decision to trade a possible number one draft pick. Will they trade one of those guys out? Could be worth as much as 1.3 to 1.5 million a season. He just certainly to be elsewhere yeah. next yeah. year the way I read it. The AFL season's only at the halfway mark, but agents are already well advanced in their plans for a frantic off-season of drafts, free agency and a coaching merry-go-round that's expected to go into overdrive. A player agent's role now is, is a lot more diverse. As the chief executive of TLA Australia, Collingwood Premiership player Craig Kelly and his team will be pulling the strings. His agents represent about a third of the AFL's players. So they're being like a recruiter, they're being like a mentor, they're being like a family friend, talking to the parents, talking to the, the family members when there's issues. And with half the AFL's senior coaches on their books, including ousted Brad Scott and Brendan Bolton, they're having to fend off conflict of interest claims. The, the, the conflict thing's rubbish. Our job is to, to get the best possible deal for our guys. If clubs make decisions that aren't made by us, um, our job is to seek out what they're looking for. Uh, want someone experienced, no experience, big club, small club, what's the list like? And we'll analyse that with the coach and go, do you want to go for the job? Um, doesn't mean he'll get it. Last year, Kelly's star agent, Tom Petroro, orchestrated the final day eight-club mega-trade, which sent Jesse Hogan to Fremantle, Stephen May to Melbourne and draft pick five to Port Adelaide. He is one of the best at um, understanding what everyone wants to do. The clubs ultimately sometimes are so stubborn and so set on what they think's right, that they need every now and then, come on guys, get your head around this, this has got to work this way, otherwise it's not going to happen. But away from the high stakes wheeling and dealing, there's the more human side of the job. I think you've got to have a, a trusting relationship. Um, I think you've got to be prepared to um, uh, have strong conversations with the players. Former Norwood coach and Port Adelaide football manager Peter Rode now represents 10 players, including Adelaide's Wayne Millerer, and makes a point of meeting them face to face every couple of weeks. Any, any problems with the injury? One. Yeah. Nah, nah, it's Do you have a smacked it again? You... No, nah, nah, it's pretty much been good. Have any clubs come looking for it? Nah, I think. No. no one even, no, 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 nothing. No. I always say to players when I start out with them, if you want someone to be the chairman of your cheer squad, that's what your, your girlfriend or your grandmother's for, and you, you know, your, your player manager is there to support you, but he's not necessarily there to always tell you what you want to hear. And it's not pleasant. At times you've got to say to guys, you're finished, you're done, or it's coming to an end, or we can't get you a new home. It, you become very close with the guys, and sometimes that's, that's hard conversations, are the worst ones to have players get drafted, when they play the first game, when they have success, um, you don't really need a manager much then, but you need a manager when you get injured, uh, when, you, when things aren't going very well, when you're, you're, you're not getting picked, when maybe you're getting delisted or you've got to change clubs, that's when you really need a manager and you, know, it's, you need a manager for the hard times, not necessarily for the good times. For better and for worse, the player manager is here to stay.